Okay, I'm just gonna we've got one more new rec screen recording software. Hopefully this is gonna work. So what I have here is I've got some variables and I've got health. I did not use a slider. I have used an image here. So this is actually an image. You can see it's the image type UI. So from the UI, I've got a canvas, I've got a panel. Uh, I've got a score title, that's the bold one. The health title, which is the bold one, you can make it bold, you can make things in color. You can have a play with it. And uh, score title, you can take the dropper and probably select the same color. But the main thing is my score and my health. So my score again is a text field, my health again is a text field. And I've got this red bar and green bar just sitting in the same place. I had a red bar, I gave it a texture. It's an image, it's not a slider, it's an image. Um, and the source image is a bar, I'll show you the source image. Yeah, there it's just uh, noise blurred together and I put a gradient there a burn and dodge effect with some red color and on top of that is the green bar. Now this fill amount is what I am linking my variable to the fill amount. I will show you the script and show you how it works because my video keeps crashing so hopefully you will understand. I have got a script, hero script. The hero script is attached to my hero which is a cube here. Now let me show you the script first. So I've got this script here. Game score is a variable, an integer holding the game score. Character health is a float. It holds the health of the character. Now I've got these uh, that the public as well, and these are I've got some more public uh, variables called display score, which is of text UI type. Display health, which is again of text UI type, and I've got bar health, which is of the type image. Now I can do that because I have unity.engine.ui up here. So I've got these variables. It's very important. So once you type this out in the script and the script doesn't have errors and you save it, when you click on the hero and the script is attached to it, you will find these variables here. Now whatever is meant for the display, like the bar, the display health, you drag and drop this so score my score goes to score, my health goes to my health and so on and the green bar goes to green bar. Now you notice in the script when I start I set the health to 1 because it was falling to 0 so I just fixed it by setting it to 1 so my health goes from 0 to 1 infinite values between them. Um, display score dot text the text value of this display UI element is going to be game score but because it's an integer we say two string and it converts it uh, this is just a script that keeps adding one to the game score so it keeps moving. Uh, then I have display health dot text. Again the character health is converted to a string and put in display health. The bar health because it's of image type it allows me to do this when I type bar health when I put a full stop I can go to fill amount and I can say the fill amount which is also uh, a floating point number because if you go here and see when I go to green bar and I actually change you can see the decimals there right so I can say um, it is character health and both are of the same type so no problem and there is this tiny script here character health is decreasing by a fraction and I've said that if character health goes below zero just reset it to one that just makes it start again from one and go down so you can see that's what is happening. Hopefully you understood the script. And so there's a script, uh, there are these UI elements. The script is attached to hero and you need to drag and drop these things. Look into the C-sharp script section under session four. I've explained the setup and the scripts.